RISA Foundation utilizes a comprehensive set of modeling tools for the simple creation of a variety of foundation elements. Model foundation elements such as grade beams, retaining walls, spread footings, piles, and mat slabs. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can produce graphics and reports in RISA Foundation. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go up to the camera button and this opens up the snapshot or snapshot preview interface. You can see we have a dynamic window in which we can kind of look and rotate around or pan around or make a selection for whatever we want to take a snapshot of. I'm going to go ahead and change my view here and then just zoom and center it up. If I want to see my loads, I can go ahead and still using my quick view buttons, turn on and off different parts of the model. And then maybe let's also turn on some labels. So let's just turn on those design strip labels for instance. Now if this is the picture that I want, great. But I can also come into my properties and I could change the text scale or the scale of the diagrams or symbols. We can change the title block by its text size or change the logo by going into the advanced settings here. Maybe we want to change the margins. In this case though, I'm going to just keep this in the frame with the margins that I have set. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to name my picture view up here. I'm gonna save this as a PNG and I'm gonna click snapshot. Now, one of the things this is going to do is it's going to create a folder for this particular project to put all of these images in now. You'll notice when I click snapshot, it doesn't close the model or close the preview. And so I can just continue to take snapshot after snapshot with different view options. So basically, using the same view, I could go ahead and get a different snapshot. Maybe I wanted to turn off my loads and I wanted to turn off my design strip labels. Let's go ahead and maybe I wanted to get a color coding for like my slab contours, say. And so I'll go ahead and name the snapshot something else. As mentioned, these will all be put into a folder now with the snapshot ready to use to put into a report. So now I'm going to go ahead and close out of my snapshot preview and I'm going to go up to my print report and I'm going to choose print a report. The first thing you'll notice is all the different input or output buttons. Now if we go ahead and expand these and so I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the different options. In addition, we can go ahead and move things around in this section window. So I can just grab a section and drag and drop to reorganize the sections in my report. Now if I click on the Detail Reports tab, I'm going to see all of the detail reports that exist in the model for every type of foundation element. So this is really great because users have the ability to batch print or batch include these individual detail reports in our overall report. We can see we can choose our element type, we can choose by load combination, or report type. Click the triple dots to include different or varying levels of detail of the detail report, either a summary report or a custom report. So if we choose a summary report, we have the collapsed detail report sections. If we choose the custom, we can see we can actually choose what information that we want, and we can turn these on and off. We can also go ahead and click the Advanced tab and see other sections that we can add, including the model settings as well as images. So I can see our snapshot image from before, but I can also add outside project images by clicking this button and navigating to the image folder. And I can go ahead and view that in our preview. Once we have our report section set, we can come up here to templates. You can choose from existing default templates, but I'm actually going to save these current sections as a new template. And we would name this template, 
which I'm going to do now. This way, every time we start a new project, this report layout will be ready and set up in my template that I can choose from this window. Finally, we can also make the same modifications to the title block of this report. So if I go ahead and click on advanced settings and the print properties here, we can see how to add a company logo that's used in the title block. And we can choose a custom logo and browse to any JPEG file that we have. Again, we can also manipulate the margins here like we did in the snapshot view. When we're finished with this, we can go ahead and choose how we want to print it. Now I choose maybe to print this as a blue beam in this case and go ahead and save our PDF for review and for the ability to send this to other people within our project team or maybe outside. For more information on RESA Foundation or other RESA topics, please visit our website, resa.com.